Hi everyone. I thought it would be fun to talk about some of the differences between 1980s boom boxes and those from the mid 90s. Just because I happen to have two in front of me right now. This one is from 1986. This is a Sanyo and it shows a lot of the things about boom boxes from that era. It's square. It's got color on it in the red on here. Um, Sometimes the whole thing was blue or red. The Iowa model that's similar to this is quite uh, collectible for that reason, I think. You got a lot of dual tape decks and you got a lot of this long skinny form factor in these kinds of things. You also see tone controls as opposed to bass and treble controls on many of them. And dubbing is kind of the key feature here. You get a lot of applied decoration, a lot of relatively busy design, which is characteristic of the period. And that's, and again, you have this sort of square shape and you have something that's definitely designed to be carried around. Um, this one even has an external power supply as opposed to an internal one. If you compare it with one from 94, the difference is quite striking. You'll notice I've got it much closer to the camera. Sorry, that made a loud noise. The colors disappeared. The applied finishes have largely disappeared. The whole thing has gotten much simpler and feels a bit more cost effective. Uh, this is, you have the return of the single cassette deck being very common. Um, and you have to start to have bits and pieces of the CD era coming in. Sometimes that means a CD, CD player on top, not in this one, but this one has a CD line in jack, which is labeled CD line in. You very rarely see a tone control in this era. You see graphic equalizers and you see the extra bass switch becomes just about ubiquitous on these sorts of things. Um, auto reverse, which was I think pretty rare in the 80s in boom boxes, pretty well just Iowa, I think, becomes pretty well, pretty common, especially in Panasonic's. And I mean, just the whole shape goes from being square lines to sort of oval blobby. I'd always, I always think about this as the blobby era of electronics. So that's just a few things that you can note when you look at the differences between these kinds of eras. I think it's interesting and I hope you do as well. Thanks.